Hello, everybody. Um, this week, we're going to be discussing euthanasia some more, and in particular, Brock's essay. Brock is a really important figure here. I mean, very well respected. He's got great credentials, and his argument is very thorough, um, well thought out, uh, and it does it it does present both sides of the argument. To note that when you're reading this, because um, he does uh, point to what the other side is saying. That said, he is arguing for voluntary active euthanasia. So he has a position that he's trying to uh, assert. I'm not going to walk through every single argument. That's just, it's just way too hard to do on this, uh, this online. <laughs> record a few minutes of lecture thing. I wish I could. But let me um, let me point to some things, okay? So when you're reading the article, notice that um, he makes a general argument in favor of his position based upon self-determination and the right uh, to individual well-being Okay, the right to self-determination and the right to individual well-being. Um, and then he does, the, he does the thing that we've seen often in this class where it's opponents say this and then offers an, um, a rebuttal to each of those things. That, we've seen that before in a lot of the us. That's, that's a very typical thing that ethical philosophers do. And so um, he, he does that and he starts with um, people that are against euthanasia on principle. And there's, there's the, the deliberate killing of an innocent person, which he agrees with, by the way, interesting uh, take on that. Um, so there's, he, he lists the things that people would be opposed to on principle. And then, after he's discussed principles, um, he moves on to consequences. Okay, where am I at in my notes here? Um, sorry, okay. Um, Bad, the bad consequences, okay, um, is what most people most people that are opposed to hate. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, would the bad consequ consequences out outweigh the good? Um, as Brock notes, this is what most people that are opposed to euthanasia hang their hat on. In other words, that's what they usually uh, point to is the bad consequences. Um, of legalizing it, which is kind of the big question here. Should it be legal? Doctor assisted suicide, right? All right. And then he, he lists, first he lists some good consequences. Um, that is people who want it, would want to get, uh, would be able to get it. And then he tries to counter the arguments about bad consequences. And um, I guess one thing I should note here is the slippery slope argument, um, which is the last objection. And he, as he meant, as he says, it's sort of the last desperate argument on the side of the anti-active um, voluntary euthanasia people, because uh, the slippery slope, are, slippery slope it, it is usually a fallacy. Okay, a slippery slope is typically a fallacy, and it means that once you start going down the slope, you can't stop. That's why it's called that. Um, so once we start allowing for euthanasia, it's going to just go off off the kilter, you know, off the hinges, and they're going to start killing everybody. <laughs> That's kind of the idea that is being put forward by the anti-euthanasia people. Um, and it, it, at least that's what he's referring to here, okay? Um, uh, so, you know, you allow for active voluntary, it's going to be non-voluntary, then it's going to be involuntary. And that is something that people uh, do present as arguments 
often, um, he actually concedes that non-voluntary euthanasia is quite possible. Um, just to note that, really. Um, not necessarily going to happen, but quite possible. Um, but, you know, involuntary euthanasia, he tries to make a very good argument or strong argument that that's, that will just not happen if we put in the right safeguards. It's, it's just, uh, that's not a really good argument. Um, and my, just insert my own personal opinion here. Yeah, that, I think, you know, that's a, it, he makes a reasonable case for that. If, if, uh, if you put the right safeguards in place, people, involuntary means against the patient's will. So, I mean, it's like people go around killing people who don't want to be killed. Probably not going to happen. I mean, it is sort of a fallacy here. I, it, like I said, slippery slope is usually a fallacy, probably a fallacy in this case. Um, all right, there's a whole bunch in this article. I mean, I'd, I'd really like to go on and on about how he says doctors should not be required to do it. They can always pass it off to another doctor. You know, all kinds of things, but it's a, it's a really good art, art, sorry, article. Read it and uh, think about it and discuss it. Thank you.